Welcome to SDH's coverage of USL League One. We now have a champion for the 2023 season. It took a while to get there. What we'll do is we will go back and let you hear the sights and sounds of the championship, hear from some of the principals, and get you through into the beginning of the postseason. We've got awards to hand out and other things that have gone on in the USL, and we will go over them in short order, as always. No dilly, no dally zone to go forward. we got to start off going backward. We have a champion, and it took a while. Here's your highlights, courtesy of our friends at USL League One ESPN Plus and YouTube. Fans are ready. Hope you are too. It is the 2023 USL League One final from Cary, North Carolina. The fans, the club, they're all about it. Be a long throw in here. Looking for that flick from Somersault, but it's right at Austin Pack. Able to hold on to it. It really starts with being on the ball. Here's Flanagan, the left back, so far forward. Dropped off for Johnson! Not a bad effort. He scored from a similar area against Greenville a couple rounds ago. In that back line and midfield line for Mike Jeffries. Rolled forward. Mbuyu looking for some width. Has a couple options in the middle. Lasered across, but it's in the side netting. And out for a goal kick. For North Carolina to break you down. Ball kept alive, and it's at the feet of Oberton. Just slides it across. Great weight on the pass and the shot. It's just wide to Brooks Thompson's goal. In swinger, punched away. It's still available, and then blocked down. Another opportunity is also blocked. Oberton was the first one there. Charlotte trying to keep this alive, and Booyou. Starts with a really good ball whipped in. Thompson does very well to punch it away, but you just see how clean Overton hits it. Every single player in a blue jersey within their own 18-yard box, not letting this ball get through into Thompson. But if you're Charlotte Independence, you can grow off of this. You can get the confidence. Over the top for Oberton, who cuts it in fields. Gabriel Oberton couldn't get a shot away. He'll lay it off. The shot comes in low and through traffic. But Thompson is able to get behind it. The first shot on target. And to cut this in. The shot is on target. And Thompson's able to scoop it up. Good movement in the front line. And the referee, Sergi Demjanchuk, says that's enough for half number one. Opportunity, Alex Anderson. It's Somersall, snatched out of the air by Austin Pack. Still unable to keep it. Rafa for Lou Young. Just tries to stand it up to the back post. The header back, McLaughlin saved. Austin Pack. Picking up right where he left off last week. Another big save. For North Carolina, you look at the movement from Lou Young. He understands when to go and advance himself. But talk about the composure and the vision from Anderson. Because so many times when a number nine gets in that position, they try to go for the spectacular. He under understands the cutback is on. The real state for McLaughlin is just a... Not afraid to hit it from here. This time it's Rafa. Rafa gets the cross in. McLaughlin... Could have really jumped for that one, and Pack is able to hold on to it. NDA. NDA going for the curler. Not a bad effort. Brooks Thompson got both hands behind it. NDA understands the real estate is. Why cut centrally? It doesn't bend it away. Long throw. Somersault trying to flick it along. It's Perez! Boy, did he hit that clean, but just wide. Off the half volley, he tattoos this thing. He does everything right, just pulls it. And for the first time ever, a USL League One final will need extra time. So now if you're an independence player, you just need to run on and flick it. You don't need to hit it too hard. Just change the direction for where this thing is coming in. Lifted in, the header's in! Rises above to give Charlotte the lead in extra time. But set pieces as Alvarez has done it three times, putting a ball in a dangerous area. 
It's not X and O's. It's not game plan. It's not tactics. It's just pure willingness to beat your individual marker and get this thing on target. Thompson does not come off his line. Acosta's first to react. Top corner, off to the corner to celebrate. And Charlotte Independence, they get their goal in the 100th minute and take the lead here. Cross fired in. A heads go off. Garcia was there. The glancing header is wide. It's a goal kick. Self into the attacking 18 yard box to watch the movement. A little sudden burst from Garcia. Clear opportunity. Just miss hits it. Doesn't get it on target. No snap header over his left shoulder. Really an opportunity. But talk about the ball in from Lou Young. Right place, right time. And yet again, another dangerous set piece for North Carolina. An in swinger. Pack comes to claim it. He was fouled. And some pushing and shoving. Here Spielman is. Perez delivers the free kick. Trying to turn it. Somersault! It's in! It finally goes! The moment to equalize for North Carolina! You have to give credit to Garcia. Center back playing like a number nine. The hold up play, the first... Garcia, that is it. 120 minutes in the books. A goal apiece in extra time. Joel Johnson, it's saved! Brooks tops it off the bar! Thompson in the run-up, as his eyes are on Thompson the whole way. It's a comfortable height for the goalkeeper. And Thompson does just enough to punch it off his crossbar. Big time save. Ariaga scores! They'll go out with the bang! And how about North Carolina FC? USL League One champions! And after the match, our friends at WRAL TV, Pat Welter, caught up with some of the principals who won it for North Carolina FC that included Ryan Somersault, head coach John Bradford, and Wallace Anderson. Far NCFC has come. They were at the bottom of the standings just a couple seasons ago. Now they were here tonight. A big match taken on Charlotte Independence for the USL League One title. Pat Welter was there to bring us all the action from Wake Met Soccer Park. For a team on their way to the USL Championship League, NCFC made sure they got every last minute out of USL One. Two by two. Two by two by two. 90 minutes wasn't enough. Charlotte finally comes through in the extra period. Hector Acosta with the header, it's 1-0. Head coach John Bradford's and the player's message was believe and how's this for a little faith? Raheem Somersault on the 111th minute. Came through the team's youth academy and now he's a championship hero. It took penalty kicks to decide it. Luis Ariega for the win. NCFC wins the USL1 title on penalties 5-4 after a 1-1 draw. Somersault, the tournament MVP. It's an amazing feeling. Um, we work hard and I thought we deserved it in the end. So all I can say is I'm just grateful that the guys didn't give up. I've been asked a lot about this team this week, and I keep saying the word togetherness, and I keep saying the word uh, belief, you know, and, and after they scored, obviously, it, it hurts, but at the same time, the guys continue to believe in what we could do, fight back, get a goal, get ourselves to penalties. Brooks comes up with an amazing save, and all five guys step up and get the job done. After finishing last in the league the last two seasons, Olex Anderson said he and other players got on the phone and started selling season tickets before this year. He didn't sell a single one, but didn't take offense because he knew they had to earn their way to get fans in the stands. Tonight, they had nearly 5,000. So you have a champ, and you have more information about what's going on in short order in USL League One. It's time for postseason awards, and those will get handed out in short order. Uh, Dominic Cresciato ends up as your uh, coach of the year as determined by folks in USL League One uh, for getting the second shield in the history of the Murder Owls. So Dominic Cassiato voted 2023 
USL League One Coach of the Year, first club to win the Players Shield twice in league history, set a new league record for points in a year with a 19, 5, and 8 record. The Owls set single season records in points with 65, goals with 61, goals per match at 1.91, finished with the second most points per match in league history at 2.03. Started the season, believe it or not, at 2-3-7. and seven. They were in 10th. Finished their final 20 matches, winning 17 of them. Winning 10 consecutive, dropping just two of a possible 42 points in their final 14 matches to finish atop the table for the second time in league history. So congratulations to Coach Casciato for Coach of the Year honors in USL League One. Goalkeeper of the Year, no real surprise, Austin Pack, who was voted League One Keeper of the Year, record 116 saves in his first full season as a starter, new league record in USL League One. Eighth professional season with his fifth different club. First team selection enjoyed a breakout year. Nine clean sheets, 208 recoveries, 150 successful long passes in addition to the record-breaking saves total. 55 regular and postseason matches for the independents across USL Championship and League One. Packs 178 saves and 16 clean sheets are second only to Brandon Miller for the most in club history. The star at UNC Charlotte doing well for his club where he continues to make it work. Northern Colorado's Arthur Rogers voted 2023 USL League One Defender of the Year. He's the first in league history to win the award twice. 27-year-old and 2023 USL League One Player of the Year finalist led the league with 90 crosses, 88 chances created for Eamon Zayed's club, most in a single season in league history, adding 197 completed long passes, 189 recoveries, 170 duels won, and 41 tackles won. Matched a single-season record with 11 assists, set a new single-season record with the 88 chances and 168 corners. 62 regular season matches already. The all-time league leader in assists with 20. 197 successful crosses. Corners taken at 302. Passing score of 72.48, highest on the season and second highest in league history behind his own record set a year ago, according to American soccer analysts. So that's just the early part of the uh, awards that are being handed out. Also on the board, a couple of other pieces of news. Richmond, uh, the Kickers and Richmond United have expanded their partnership to compete in the USL Academy. United will be the only official affiliate of the Kickers Pro Team in the pre-professional platform. And obviously the, the big news that has uh, gone on, it is the agreement between USL and CBS Sports. Multi-year rights agreement, multi-platform, CBS Television Network, Paramount Plus, CBS Sports Network, CBS Sports Golasso Network, 100 matches annually through 2027 for the USL Championship and League One seasons. Very, very cool news for the USL when it comes to uh, their broadcast future. It's going to be tied to our friends at CBS Sports. Also, uh, we mentioned Jermaine Jones, named Central Valley Fuego head coach, the former USU 19 men's national team assistant, gets his first professional head coaching opportunity at Central Valley to be with the men's uh, to be with Central Valley as they continue to grow in USL League One. Very, very cool stuff across the board. So finalists are being unveiled in USL League One, and we'll continue to chase after them and mention them uh, as uh, those awards continue to be unveiled and broken and broken out and uh, introduced to all of us here for the 2023 season. But as we all know, the 2024 season will be here before we know it. As always, don't forget, go to the fan zone at USL League One, leagueone.com, and you will be able to uh, interact with folks just like you when it comes to your thoughts and your favorite teams in USL League One. Also, follow along for... Uh, all the social media platforms on the 280-character app on Facebook and on Instagram at USL League o and e and you'll be able to follow along every possible action that is going on in USL League One. Seven players from the USL Championship in League One, by the way, were called up by Jamaica, believe it or not. Four from Colorado Springs joining a couple of other individuals. It is Speedy Williams, Tyreek McGee, Romario Williams, Deshane Beckford, and uh, Jamali Waite will continue 
after getting a call from uh, Pittsburgh Riverhounds. 42 saves, 10 saves in the championships, regular season and playoffs. Trayvon Reed, hoping to make his senior national team debut in his second call-up with Roots. Amal Knight returns to the Jamaica squad after completing Lexus' inaugural season with 79 saves and four shutouts in 24 appearances in USL League One. So that's your rundown of everything going on in USL League One as we carry you through a season. We have a champion, and they're going to USL Championship starting next year. So in a way, promotion works for USL League One in North Carolina. FCs. And thanks for hanging out with us all season long when it comes to all of the activity in USL League One. We'll be back here before you know it for another season. Play it safe, everybody. Enjoy the offseason. There can be only one!